Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevayam Om Aganda Timurandasya Ganajana Shavakaya Chakshu Om Yena Taj Shri Gaurave Namaha I was born in the darkest of ignorance and my spiritual master opened my eyes with a torch of knowledge. I offer my respectful obeisances unto him. Hare Krishna! The following video series is a summary of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam was translated into English by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Also included are His in-depth commentaries known as purports. These purports unpack the often complex and symbolic language of the text, making it understandable to a wider audience. The Srimad Bhagavatam, also known as the Bhagavad Purana, is considered the most important of sacred scriptures. Composed around 5,000 years ago, it is considered the ripened fruit of the tree of Vedic literature and the original commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. The author of Srimad Bhagavatam is Srila Vyasadeva. He is also the compiler of the Vedas, classified as a prana, a vast genre of ancient stories and knowledge encompassing history, philosophy, and spiritual teachings. Srimad Bhagavatam includes stories of avatars, creation narratives, lives of saints and sages, philosophy discourses, and practical guidance for spiritual life. Divided into 12 cantos, with over 18,000 verses covering 10 subject matters. One, the elemental creation. Two, the secondary creation. Three, the planetary systems. Four, protection by the Lord. Five, the creative impetus. Six, manvatars. Seven, the science of God. Eight, the dissolution. Nine, liberation and 10, the Supreme Shelter. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Majalita, chapter 25, text 143 and 144, Lord Chaitanya speaking to Prakrishananda Saraswati tells him, translation, the meaning of the Vedanta Sutra is present in Srimad Bhagavatam. The full purport of the Mahabharata is also there. The commentary of the Bhama Gayatri is also there and fully expanded with all Vedic knowledge. Srimad Bhagavatam is the Supreme Purana. It was compiled by the Supreme Personality of Godhead in his incarnation as Vyasadeva. There are 12 cantos, 335 chapters, and 18,000 verses. Canto 2, chapters 6 through 10. Chapter 6. Purusha Sukta confirmed. Lord Brahma now recites prayers in support of Vedic mantras glorifying the universal form of the Lord. All living beings are covered by the Lord's feature as time. But, explains Brahma, the Lord is himself beyond all aspects of time. He exists in a transcendental, eternally existing form. Brahma next glorifies the supremacy of the Lord and his realm by comparing him to the sun. For the sun as does the Lord, expands its energies throughout the universe. Thus, the Lord maintains everything by His immeasurable glories. Deathlessness, fearlessness, and freedom from the anxieties of old age and disease exist in the kingdom of God, which is beyond the three higher planetary systems and the material coverings. This spiritual world, which consists of three-fourths of the Lord's energy, is especially meant for those who will never be reborn. Others who are attached to family life and who do not strictly follow celibacy vows must live within the three material worlds. Brahma then describes his own birth from the lotus flower which grew from the navel of Lord Mahavishnu. Brahma described to Narada the sacrifices to please the Lord that were performed by the great sages, Manus and forefathers, the learned scholars, it is by the Lord's will, said Brahma, that I create, Lord Shiva destroys, and he himself, as Vishnu, maintains all. Brahma explains further that although I am the great Brahma, perfect in many ways, still I cannot understand him, the source of my birth. Therefore, 
I surrender unto his feet, which alone can deliver one from the miseries of repeated birth and death. Brahma then states one after another the incarnations of the Lord known as Leela avatars. A verse from chapter 6, text 17. Svadishnam Pratapan Prano Pahishya Pratapat Yasu Evam Virajam Pratapam Tapa Yantar Bahi Pumam Translation The sun illuminates both internally and externally by expanding its radiation. Similarly, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by expanding his universal form, maintains everything in the creation both internally and externally. Chapter 7 Scheduled Incarnations with Specific Functions Lord Brahma first began to describe the Lord's Leva avatars, Varaha, Kapila, the four sanas, Sanat, Sanat Kumar, Sanandana, and Sanatan, the twin forms of Narayan and Nara, Maharaj Prisu, Rasavdev, Hayagriva, the fish incarnation, the tortoise incarnation, the Srimadev, the savior of Gajendra, Vamanadev, Danvantari, and Parasaram. He next describes the incarnation of Ram and then the advent of the original personality of Godhead Krishna, who appears just to diminish the distress of the world. The Lord comes in his original form with beautiful black hair and acts extraordinarily. He killed Putana when he was just on the lap of his mother and performed many wonderful pastimes when still a boy. He chastised Kalia, saved his cowherd boyfriends from a forest fire, and lifted Govardhan Hill despite the anger of Indra. He danced with the gopis and killed many demons such as Sankakuda, either directly or through his brother Baladev. Through the process of surrender and following the footsteps of great Vaishnavas, one realizes the true characteristics of the Lord, such as the Lord has no material qualities or contaminations, and that illusion cannot stand before him. Brahma then tells Narada that the science of God was spoken in summary by the Supreme Personality of Godhead to him. He then requests Narada to expand this science in such a way that it will be possible for human beings to develop their devotional service unto Krishna. A verse from chapter 7 is text 26. Bhumehi surtara varuta vimarditaya klesha vayaya kalya sita krishna kesha tata karishati jnana nupalaksha marga karmani chatma mahimo panibandhanani. Translation When the Lord is overburdened, by the fighting strength of the kings who have no faith in God, the Lord, just to diminish the distress of the world, descends with his plenary portion. The Lord comes in his original form with beautiful black hair, and just to expand his transcendental glories, he acts extraordinarily. No one can properly estimate how great he is. Chapter 8, Questions by Prixit Maharaj. Maharaj Prixit inquired from Sukadev Goswami about Narada Muni's explanations of the transcendental qualities of the Lord and to whom Narada spoke them. Maharaj Prixit continued, saying that he wished to hear narrations of the Lord, for they are all auspicious and help one place one's consciousness on Lord Krishna. Those who hear Srimad Bhagavatam regularly, taking the Srimad Bhagavatam seriously, will have Krishna manifest in their hearts in a short time. Why? Because Srimad Bhagavatam is the sound incarnation of Krishna, and as he enters the heart of the self-realized devotee, he cleanses the heart of all the dust of material association, and such a person will feel fully satisfied as a traveler is satisfied at home after a troubled journey. Maharaj Pariksit asked many questions, including how the soul acquires his body, he inquires about the form of the Supersoul within everyone's heart and how the Supersoul acts with his energies. Maharaj Pariksit continues by requesting Sukadev to continue speaking and answering his questions. For he desires to continue tasting the nectar of the words of Sukadev Goswami, 
which allow him to transcend the exhaustion due to his fasting from all food and drink. Sutta Goswami described how Sukadev Goswami, after being invited by Maharaj Pariksit to speak on Lord Krishna, began to reply by explaining how the Srimad Bhagavatam was first spoken by the Lord himself to Brahma. A verse from chapter 8, text number 4. Shribrata Shradaya Nityam Granatascha Svachestitam Kalena Nati Dirgena Bhagavan Visate Vidi. Translation Persons who hear Srimad Bhagavatam regularly and are always taking the matter very seriously will have the Supreme Personal of Godhead Krishna manifest in their hearts within a short time. Chapter 9 answers by citing the Lord's version. Sukadeva Goswami first begins replying to Maharaj Pariksit's question about the pure soul and his acquisition of his material body. Sukadeva Goswami explains how Lord Brahma, due to his penance in Bhakti Yoga, had all illusion removed by the grace of Krishna, who became pleased with him. At first, at the beginning of creation, Lord Brahma, as he sat upon the seat of a lotus, could not understand his source, nor did he understand how to create the universe. Lord Brahma then heard the sound vibration, tapa, and despite his not being able to understand the source of the sound, he began to execute austerities as per this instruction. The personality of Godhead, satisfied by Lord Brahma's penance, revealed to Lord Brahma by Kunta, his personal abode, which is free from the modes of material nature, time, illusion, and the external energy. Brahma requests to learn how he himself may be instrumental in creation without becoming either conditioned or proud. The Personality of God had replied, saying that all knowledge about him could only be understood in conjunction with devotional service. He then blessed Brahma with the ability to realize everything. The Lord then spoke the Chakra Sloki Bhagavatam. He told Brahma that his acting on these understandings would free him from pride. The following four verses from chapter 9, text 33 to 36 are the Chakra Sloki Bhagavatam. Text 33. Aham evasam evagre na jad yat sat asat param paschad aham yat etat ja yo so smaham. Translation. Brahma, it is I, the personality of Godhead, who was existing before the creation, when there was nothing but myself, nor was there the material nature, the cause of this creation. That which you see now is also I, the personality of Godhead. And after annihilation, what remains will also be I, the personality of Godhead. Text 34. Rite ritam yat pratyeta na pratyeta chatmani tad vidyad atmano mayam yatabhyaso yatatama Translation O Brahma, whatever appears to be of any value, if it is without relation to me, has no reality. No, it is my illusionary energy, that reflection which appears to be in darkness. Text 35 Yata Mahati Bhutani Bhute Su Chava Chesu Anu Pravishya Ya Pravistati Tata Te Su Nate Svaham Translation O Brahma, please know that the universal elements enter into the cosmos and at the same time do not enter into the cosmos. Similarly, I myself also exist within everything created and at the same time, I am outside of everything. Text 36. Etad bad eva jinasyam tat ba jinasunat mana anvaya vyatra re kasvam yatshat sarvatra sarvada. Translation. A person who is searching after the supreme absolute truth, the personality of Godhead, must certainly search for it up to this, in all circumstances, in all space and time, and both directly and indirectly. 
Sukadev Goswami then relates that the Lord, after speaking these four verses to Brahma, disappeared, and Brahma recreated the universe as it was previously. Chapter 10, Bhagavatam is the answer to all questions. Sukadev Goswami opens this chapter by listing the 10 subject matters contained within the Bhagavatam. Creation, sub-creation, the plenary systems, protection by the Lord, the creative impetus, the change of manus, the science of God, going back to Godhead, liberation, and the shelter of all. He then described each of those in more detail, concluding that the ashraya, the shelter of all, is independent and all other topics are dependent upon him. The Lord's generation of svarga, the prime elements of creation, are described as the gross and subtle forms of the material universe. Neither gross nor subtle forms of the Lord are accepted as the Lord, for a pure devotee knows that the Lord's form is neither gross nor subtle matter, but is transcendental. All living entities are created by the Lord through Brahma, and they are placed according to their past deeds under different combinations of the three modes of material nature. The Lord maintains the universe as Lord Vishnu and incarnates to save all the conditioned souls. Then as Lord Shiva, the Lord destroys the universe. Thus the Lord actually never directly acts within the material world. Sanaka Rish, after hearing of the creation, inquired from Sutta Goswami about the discussions between Vidura and Maitreya. While Vidura was on pilgrimage, Sri Sutta Goswami says that he will describe those discussions and that hearing of them will also answer King Pariksit's previous inquiries. A verse from chapter 10, text 36. Savacha vaka kataya Bhagavan Brahma Rupi Drik Nama Rupa Kriya Date Sakar Makar Makapara Translation He, the personality of Godhead, manifests himself in a transcendental form, being the subject of his transcendental name, qualities, pastimes, entourage, and transcendental variegatedness. Although he is unaffected by all such activities, he appears to be engaged.